Hello and welcome. My name is Chris Edwards and I work for Siemens in the UK as part of the Rero product team. In this video, I would like to introduce you to the Rero 5 platform of devices and in particular, the 7SR57 motor protection device. The Rero 5 is a platform-based concept design with all models running the same base firmware or what could be described as the operating system and application software applied from a software feature library developed over 35 years of numeric relay development. The hardware is also common across the range with the same look, feel and easy to use functionality both physically and throughout the menu structures. This reduces training requirements and provides a cost effective solution. Our experience in protection development for over 100 years combined with the latest technology allows us to bring you a comprehensive device using proven algorithms in protection, control and supervision functions and so reliable operation is ensured. As with other Rear Row 5 devices, the 7SR57 is available in three case sizes, S6, S8 and S12, suitable for panel or rack mounting. So let's take a look at the features and functions that the 7SR57 offers for motor protection applications. The Rear Row 7SR5710 motor protection device provides functions designed to protect all motor starting and running sequences. Thermal algorithms are optimised to closely match the thermal characteristics of motors. Its four CT inputs are suitable for connection to both 1 amp and 5 amp current transformer secondary windings and includes a core range of functions as standard. The following functionality is particularly relevant to this device. Operate curves of the thermal algorithm provided by function 49M take into account the effects of present loading, prior loading and unbalanced currents on the motor operating temperature. Starting and cooling constants modify the thermal characteristic during motor run-up and stopped conditions. A user-definable thermal curve is selectable to allow matching of the relay thermal characteristic to all motor and cooling system types. Function 14, locked rotor protection, uses definite time overcurrent elements to monitor motor stalled conditions. Operation of these elements can be controlled from motor stopped or running conditions. Function 48 allows the motor startup time to be monitored. An output is raised if the start time exceeds the setting. And Function 66 monitors motor starting. It provides settings to control both the number of times a motor can be started within a specified time period and the minimum time between starts. Motor starting can be inhibited when the user-defined limit is reached. To complete the scheme application, the device has the option for direct arc flash detection inputs with high-speed tripping contacts for fast clearance when arc faults are detected in enclosed switch gear and temperature sensor inputs for connection to sensors located in the motor installation. The 7SR5711 motor protection device has four CT inputs and four VT inputs, which allow additional functionality over the 7SR5710. Also available are 7SR5721 devices with eight CT inputs. Devices with eight CTs can provide motor differential protection. With the addition of the voltage inputs, the device has all of the associated protection functions, including under voltage protection 27, which can be used to disconnect the motor in the event of low terminal voltage, power flow monitoring function 32, and comprehensive current and voltage based instrumentation. The devices are configured via the front USB port over a secure link using the free of charge PC tool Radius Manager 2. This easy to use tool enables the user to tailor the device to meet the application needs with five user configurable screens for mimic and instrumentation together with graphical logic. Now let's take a closer look at the hardware. 7SR5710 motor devices have four CT inputs and 7SR5711 and 7SR5721 motor devices have four or eight CT inputs and four VT inputs. 
A single power supply covering all substation auxiliary voltage supply levels is used. No separate ordering options are necessary. The binary inputs have selectable operating levels. Each binary input can be configured individually if required. There are optional arc flash detector inputs, high speed binary outputs and temperature sensor inputs. The device has a rear RS485 port and dual Ethernet ports with either electrical or optical interfaces. Communication protocols include IEC 61850, Modbus TCP, DNP3 TCP and also redundancy protocols. The smaller S6 devices have a case width of 153mm wide, the next size S8 205mm and the largest S12 308mm wide. A large graphical display makes it easier to view device information. You can find further information about the Rero 7SR57 motor protection device via the internet, the Rero 5 catalogue and various other locations. If further information about the 7SR51 feeder protection and 7SR54 transformer protection devices is required, there are also videos in this series that cover those products. Thank you for viewing this presentation.